Hi guys, how are you doing? So today we're going to take a look at the Asus Arian. Now this is an NVMe enclosure and one which I've picked up basically because I've got a dodgy drive um, and I don't want to throw it away because that's obviously a waste. Um, and obviously if I can use it you know, for game transfers and stuff like that between machines, then brilliant, you know, I've kind of I've saved myself some money. Um, so I picked this up for £40 from eBay, um, which I don't think is too bad, especially when you can get lots of off-brand stuff for £20, £30. Um, so Asus, I really like the brand, um, the design and all of that is really good. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox it, um, we're going to set it up, we're going to test it. Um, if not, I've got another drive, so don't worry about that. Um, and basically see if it's something you want to buy. Let's do it. Okay, so inside we've got the enclosure itself. Now this is beautiful, to be honest. Um, it's really nice and weighty, um, really well made. Got lovely little kind of pattern here. Um, just nice, that's what you'd expect from, from ASUS really. They put a lot of effort into this design. So we've got a, a Type-C here. Um, and obviously we've got a, case, a couple of cables in, in the box, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Um, here we have a button. Um, if you can see that, um, it's like mobile phones basically nowadays where you go into the SIM uh, tray, um, you push that in and it pops open. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. So this um, seems to be a, a carry handle um, and then basically a rubber exterior. So you're not going to bash up the, uh, the aluminium or the uh, the enclosure so that's a really nice thing to do and now we've got our two uh, C to C and then C to type A there user instructions Um, and then this is quite important part of the installation process. Um, so we'll be looking at it in a moment. And yeah, just, just usual stuff. And here is the uh, the little key that pokes into the hole and you'll be used to these, as I said, with mobile. So, uh, so yeah. So the drive again. So here's the hole. So poke that in. Oh, and it opens this side. And here we go. So inside, obviously, we have some thermal pads there that's going to help with uh, heat dissipation. Um, and then we've got different slots here um, for different size drives. Now, here's the drive which I've got. This is the temperamental one. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly install it. So you unscrew this. Okay, so on the screw here, I think it's central, you can see there's a little little groove. This will go in like that, and it will get screwed down. So let's quickly do that. In here, like so. Turn it with your fingers, and then there you are. It's not good today, guys. And but yeah, it sits there nice and nice and flush. And then we put the, the top back on. Like that, and then clips in place. So uh, let me go test this, see if it uh, if it, if it works. If it does, I'll do some testing. If not, I've got another drive. Okay guys, you're only seeing a, a little bit of my screen here. Um, yeah, it's not working. Um, it's glowing up really nicely. 
um, but the actual uh, drive is not coming to life. So I think it's ducked. Yeah, so I'm gonna quickly change out for the other one, I think. As of anything in life, you know, you don't know until you've tried, so I can safely say that this one is, uh, is resigned for the recycling bin. Here's my other driver, it's a WZ Black. in there. Guys, what I want to do now is do some testing. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Not really. Um, obviously, I've found out that my drive is dead, which is disappointing but I suppose at least I know it, it's kind of it's a goner now and I can kind of get rid of it and not waste my time. Um, the actual enclosure itself fantastic you know it looks lovely it's well made um, does the job it's supposed to do I'm really happy you know transferring the files not a problem. Um, just to let you know that I did have an issue with the type C to type A cable um, it went a bit flaky uh, maybe that was me using it I don't know but as soon as I put type C to type C no problems at all transfer rates I was really happy with. Now, when you're gonna put a new drive in there, just remember, you've got to format it. Um, you've got partition and all that nonsense. So uh, so that's one thing I, I forgot about, um, but I sorted that one. Guys, so in summary, it looks good. It did the job it was supposed to do. What's not to like? Guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.